Bueno. Hi guys doing here of done here with a highlight for the week and we're gonna get ourselves into something called the PTS if what's PTS the PTS is the public test server uh, this is where we test most of the new builds and new stuff coming out for ESO but it's interesting for most players here on the PC side to get themselves into it I recommend if you have the space and you have questions and you want to really want to get into ESO get the pts downloaded because really it doesn't cost anything except for disk space and you can do a few things with this here so first you notice that we have a screen like this here around the pts here but let me pull us back here real quick how do you get the pts simple open up your launcher and you notice i have the little scrolls pts here that is from going up here on this little cog checking show public test server okay once you do that, you click that, it's going to start installing and basically making a copy of the public test server in your uh, Elder Scrolls Online folder. It separates all your add-ons, it separates all of your screenshots, everything, okay? So when you, put, when you download this, make sure that you either run Minion, again, for your add-ons, or you run, um, or you just copy over any add-ons and settings that you might need, otherwise you won't see it there. Now your characters do copy over. Uh, currently they have North American servers copying over. EU servers get a separate copy uh, when they do this. But again, if you want your characters on here, they put this on here every uh, patch cycle uh, when they do the public test servers. But if you don't have a high level character, but you're kind of interested how your high level character is going to look, what they're going to be wearing, uh, is it worth it to get something? This is where the PTS really shines here. So. Go ahead, create a new character. Doesn't matter what you want to do. But you notice you have templates up here. So we're going to go to the Wolf Hunter one here. <laughs> randomize, randomize, randomize. Example. Um, I also go put test. Just to make sure somebody's not in there. So you just go ahead and make this. Let's say you just want to try out an Imperial Warden for your first first time build you don't have to worry worry about the uh looks too much unless you're just also taking a look at the character looks of it uh in which case you're gonna have to go ahead and fool, fool around with all this stuff here but again all this stuff is available on pts it's the same stuff that you can do on live you can do here on pts go ahead create it we're gonna skip the tutorial should bring us right in <laughs> And three, two, one. Come on. It will take a little bit to load up the first time that you lo down all load all this. I do have like a reshade add-on up here, as you can see. Uh, this will give me FPS in milliseconds here. You don't have to go this far with all your stuff, but good thing with this here, okay? Come online, yeah. It's gonna give you all the tutorial stuff. Maybe you want to turn it off. Maybe you want to keep it on. Either way, doesn't matter. Now you can find everything that you want here. So you want ability altering weapons, agility, willpower, arena sets, battlegrounds, consumables, dragon sets, monster helmets, overland sets, Telvar sets, testing out your transmutation. So if you want to change up anything here, costumers, this gives you a whole bunch of stuff. Also crafting. So you wanted to try out crafting for anything here. Recipe books. Quality books. Yep. You're going to get a spam with a bunch of messages when you use these things, but you're going to learn everything that you want to use here. You have all the materials that you want for your alchemist stuff, all your stuff for your crafting stuff. Uh, an important one to use probably first is... Sorry, let's just take a look here. Um, consumables, there it is. Uh, consumables is an important one to use first because you probably don't have half this stuff here. And it gives you your riding speed lessons. 
kind of important when you have a base level horse here. And you don't have any capacity, so you're like down to 60 here. And you don't have any riding speed lessons here. So that's just like what you can use in this. You can try out a full build if you want. Without having to have any special like calculations or anything. Anything else like that. You can just build your character here. Try out your sets and make make the build actually see what the numbers are rather than just relying on the number system here. Sometimes things get broken and you won't actually see it until you try it onto a test dummy. Really sucks when you have to go grinding that material and grinding that gear and you find out that the, your build is crap because of some bugs with it. Now the other good thing with this is the crown store in this is all one crown good for a few reasons here so if you wanted to take a look at like dark brotherhood dark dragon bones like see some of the content before you actually get into it you can just go ahead and purchase it here you can also buy, purchase style stuff here so if you want to try a different look or style to your character you can get that out of the way respects experience uh sorry i was looking for upgrades here real quick to show off inventory yes Upgrade your book, your bag space, which won't show up right away. Oh, actually, it does. It changed that. So, you know, that's how you upgrade your bag space so you can hold more of this gear here. And I think another good feature of this as well is if you're a home buyer and you're kind of wondering, well, should I get this or to get that? Well, guess what? Since all the stuff that in the crown store is one crown, all the stuff that you buy from the uh, purchasable on your crown store is also one crown as well so before you spend all those crowns on the live server you can actually test out and design your house however you want it pretty cheap you get five thousand crowns a day they refill every day that you come back onto the pts server and everything is one crown so you have five thousand items you can just buy and use as you want them so you know, go f5 purchase Okay, I want to see what it looks like if I have all this clockwork stuff. Or... This altar here. Galleries. Like, you can purchase anything that's in the crown store on live now. In here. And then use it in your house. So if you want to, like, prepare a build and prepare, okay, what do I need for this? What do I need for that? Is it going to be worth it? Is it going to look right if I use something here? You can get all that done here. I always recommend go to the PTS server guys and test out your builds. Test out the builds on your house before you get in there. And more importantly, the actual purpose of the PTS server is when a new patch comes out, come along and into the PTS server and try out the new content. I really recommend that as well because a lot of the I've been we've been using the PTS for years now. And it seems like we've had a huge decline of users and testers. Um, and then people complain when P DLC comes out and stuff doesn't work, guess what? Stuff is testing the PTS. You had a chance to test out this stuff and see a lot of the bugs before it happened. So if you go ahead and get on the PTS server, you can see it beforehand. You can actually put a d note in there saying things are broken, it needs to be fixed. Pretty simple. But anyways, that's the PTS server, guys. I recommend folks get into it. It's pretty easy as long as you have the disk space. Anyways, I'm here of none. Thanks for watching. Meow, meow, meow. And yes, I was doing a highlight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>